I think we found an answer to autism, how it happens, so we won't let it happen anymore. Congratulations to the government who's been able to find the cause of autism when scientists couldn't find the answer. Yes, the root cause, the term used by people who don't actually understand the complexity of the pathophysiology of a diagnosis has been found for autism and it's Tylenol apparently. Which is interesting because we've looked at millions of children diagnosed with autism and looked for a cause and they've looked at Tylenol and you know what's interesting? When they removed the genetic component between Tylenol use and autism, like they did in this study of over a million children in Sweden, they found that acetaminophen use is not associated with the children's risk of developing autism, ADHD, or intellectual disability, which suggests that that association should be attributed to familial confounding. Listen, you're going to hear a lot of scary things in the news in the coming days about Tylenol use in pregnancy causing autism. And I want to reassure you that we have no good data that supports this. If you are in a clinical situation where you need Tylenol in pregnancy, if you have a fever, if you have pain, you should feel reassured that you can still use this and that you're not harming your baby. If autism were this easy to figure out, we would have the data that supports it.